Welcome you all. Today we will learn how to make these numorphism design elements in Photoshop for your next project. Ok so what is numorphism? Numorphism is a modern iteration of skewmorphism, it used in designing web elements frames, buttons etc. Now let's see how to create it. First create a solid color adjustment layer. And choose this color. Little darker than white, so we can see shadows and highlights. Now next step is to create your shape. It can be anything, I am creating a triangle. Disable its stroke and enable its fill. Sample the exact color of the background. Now select the shape layer and open blending options. Go to drop shadow. Here we need to change the color of shadow to a bit darker shade of the background. Don't keep it too hard. Now adjust the light angle to 135 degree. Increase its distance to 40 and increase the size to 80 which is double of distance. Shadow is created. Now let's create highlight. Change the color to white and change blending mode to normal. Change the angle to minus 45 degree. We forget to uncheck the global light. So uncheck it so we can control the angle separately. Distance and size will be same as before. Hit OK. And it's done your pneumorphic effect is ready. You can copy this layer style and paste it on any shape. Let's make another shape, this time circle. Right click on triangle layer. Copy layer style. Select new shape layer. Right click and select paste layer style. That's how you can copy any layer style to any layer. Let's see how to create this pressed button effect. This time we need to play with inner shadows. So same with the inner shadow, but with opposite angles. Now enable drop shadow as well. Your pressed button effect is also ready. You can use these types of effects in your UI design projects. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know if you find this video helpful in comment section. Subscribe to DesignSpark for more Photoshop tips, tricks or tutorials.